Okay, now we're going to do some screen printing. Uh, we're going to do the Trellix Hour t-shirt, uh, and this is going to just take you through uh, the whole process of the print. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, lay down a bit of spray mount on the, on the platen here. Uh, now that's just going to stop the t-shirt moving around between colours, and that'll help us get the registration right. So, okay, and then we're going to take a t-shirt. The important point of justification for the for the image is to sit at the bottom of the shirt. So we've just got it nice, smooth and flat. There's no wrinkles. So the first layer we print with this one is the blue layer. That's the base layer. So we stop it here. Now, now this is uh, specifically for screen printing. It's uh, it's a water-based ink, uh, which uh, gives nice durability of the print, and it's also nicer for me to work with. This is an environmentally friendly ink, uh, which is better for when um, for when you wash down the screen, so it goes down the drain. So the first stage there is to just flood the screen with ink. So we just make sure that there's an even covering of ink right across the screen. Now we give it one pull and then we'll repeat the process. So again, just flooding it, just gently this time, so there's ink all across the screen. And then with a bit more force, that pushes it through. Okay, so that's us laid down the blue layer. So you can see that's the base, the base of the print, the first part of it. What we're gonna do now is dry it. This is a heat gun. It's like a really powerful hair dryer, essentially. So we need to keep this moving because it's really hot and if we leave it in the same point for any amount of time we'll scorch the t-shirt. So this is now completely dry. I'm just going to pull around and this is the second there. So this is the, the black screen with the screen that we use for the black ink. Now what we need to do is very carefully and gently line this up. And we need to do this right because we only want to do this once. Or at least we only get one shot at it, otherwise we have to wash down again. Okay, so that's in and tight, so every time we bring it up and bring it down, it's going to sit in the same position. So we get quite a lot on the screen. We get far more than we need for the print, but we're running several prints, so. And again, same as the first there, we just get an even spread of ink here first. And then apply the pressure, which is pushing the ink through the screen. And again, we do that twice, just so we're sure we've got a nice print. Again, just coming through from a different angle this time, just to make sure we've got a real even spread of paint of the ink. Now I'm now going to push through with a bit of force, and now we see if I line them up properly. Yeah, there we go. And there's the finished print. So what we do now is gently take this off, make sure we're not smudging it anywhere. And there we go. And he's going to hang to dry now.